came to my attention that it's my friend's birthday in May. She lives in Oklahoma. You might think those things don't really... Like, what, what the fuck? What's the point of those two? I'll explain. A childhood friend of mine, she lives in Oklahoma. Her birthday's in May. Where I'm going with this is, um, basically, we met when I was little. This has nothing to do with what I'm about to tell you, but still, you should know the backstory, uh, just in case you're confused. We met when we were little. She moved to Oklahoma when she was about, like, 10, I think. And then, uh, she found me on Facebook. Uh... And then it, found, uh, it turned out that she was actually a big gaming geek like me. Uh, so we started playing Xbox around five years ago. We started playing um, like Xbox Live, same games and all that shit. And recently, before we moved here, about two years ago, she told me, you should come visit for my birthday. And I remember that her fucking birthday is in May. And I said, nope, I am not going anywhere near the middle of the U.S., during the months of April, May, June, and July. Now, if you live in those middle states, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. I, I really doubt any of you live there. But in case in the future you, f you find this video and you live there, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. For those of you who don't know, she lives in Oklahoma, which is one of the worst places in Tornado Alley. Tornado Alley... I'm pretty sure you heard of it, but I'm just going to give a quick recap. Tornado Alley is basically the center. You look at the fucking U.S. map, the very center. That's when, uh, that's where tornadoes happen. Dallas is like on the very edge of the Tornado Alley, but it still happens. The week before we moved here to Houston, a big fucking tornado happened. It's another story. It has to do with religion, but I, I might have to tell it. Fuck it. But I'm getting off topic. She told me, you should visit me for my birthday. And I thought, no, ni merga. Yeah, so, fuck that. That's why I thought that. Uh, because three reasons. I've seen Twister, and I've seen Into the Storm. Chinga su madre. I am not, no. You cannot even, if I was in death row, and they told me, you have to go stay at least one day in a city that's gonna have a tornado guaranteed and survive motherfucker i take my chances with the lethal injection i mean i know i'm gonna die but still i mean it might be less painful than a fucking tornado because a tornado <sighs> man i got just throws you somewhere else no fuck that lethal injection at least motherfucker you prepared to die with the lethal injection so that's how it came and this event actually relates to a sto uh, uh, something that happened to me and my family when i was four years old and it's something that i wanted to forget because it scared the mother fuck out of me when i was four years old and um that's when i was four years old me and my parents which was just me and my parents at the time and uh, some of my dad's friends from work, um, they we all went to a, I can't remember exactly the name of a, of a, some waterfalls over there in, in Oklahoma. You know what? Here goes my mom. She still remembers. I'll be right back. All right. So I asked my mom, and she said it was called something Turner, Turner Park Falls, Turner Falls, Turner Waterfall. I don't know. I'll look it up while I'm editing, and I'll just put it right here. But, um, yeah, we went to that place during, did I already turn five or was I still four? I don't remember, but it was in the summer. I know that. And, uh, we were just having a cookout. We were, uh, it was, there was about 20 of us. I can't remember everyone, but uh, the most, the people that I mostly remember are like close family friends. It was, uh, let's see if I can remember everyone. It was me, my mom, my dad, uh, his friend, Bonnie, his wife. His two kids, uh, two daughters, and I can't remember the rest. But there was a lot of people. And uh, I barely remember anything. All I remember was seeing those big fucking waterfalls and uh, seeing a dead rattlesnake. I wanted it, but my mom said it was dangerous. So 
I was mad. I noticed that the sky was black, but I mean, it, I was like, okay, it might rain. Fuck it. We don't care. We're in the water anyway. But uh, we started hearing sirens, and I'm like, what the fuck? I mean, I didn't say what the fuck. I was four. I didn't know what the word fuck man was. I didn't even know the word fuck existed. So, <coughs> excuse me. So, we started getting ready to go home because um, at the time, tornadoes were rampant. Uh, I don't exactly remember what part of Oklahoma it was. I really need to get a fucking lock for my door. Yeah, I'll just fucking answer without knocking. Chingada madre. Completely forgot where I was. Oh yeah, we were getting ready because tornadoes were a motherfucker at the time. You know, like I said, I don't remember what part of Oklahoma it was. I I think it was Tulsa, or I, I'm not sure. Because Dallas was only two hours away from Oklahoma, so I'm guessing it's the southernmost city in Oklahoma. Whatever it is, uh, I don't remember. I was four or five, I remember. Uh, so we started getting ready, and uh, oh my fuck, I remember it like it was just a few days ago. Chinga su madre, it was black. Like if you've seen uh, the movie Twister, how the clouds look, that it, that's exactly how a fucking tornado cloud looks. It is scary. It is windy. It is fucking loud. Whoo! No mames, cabron. Worst part is, this is not This is nothing. We start hauling ass back home, at least back to the to the border to the tech to Texoma, which is called the Texas and Oklahoma border. We start hauling ass. The fucking tornado starts chasing us. Like I, I am not shitting you. I, I. Swear it on my life that this fucking tornado was chasing us, and I remember it clearly. It was a big fucking funnel cloud. It was I. I started crying like a pussy, and I am not ashamed to say that I started crying like a little pussy. Oh, I was so I. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm, I'm gonna fucking die. Well, I, I didn't say fuck. You already know what I mean. And. I was scared. I was legitimately scared for my fucking life. My dad was all calm about it. My mom was somewhat... My my dad was... I mean, he was probably scared, but he did not fucking show it. My dad has balls of brass or gold or whatever is stronger than steel. So the tornado is... I, don't, I can't remember for how long the tornado was chasing us, but it was chasing us for a while. That's the last thing I remember from there because I don't. I maybe for, for some reason I remember it was because my adrenaline was pumping or I don't know it was intense. I, I can't remember. I can't remember anything after it or anything before. Just the main fucking tornado itself. That's the only fucking reason why I'm not gonna visit her. Like that bitch can visit me or we can visit back home in Dallas or whatever, cabrona. But I am not going back to Oklahoma during the summer, which sucks because I like going to Oklahoma. I like going to the waterfalls there, but not in the fucking summer. Ni vergas. So whenever she asks me, are you going to come and visit me during my birthday? I always say, as long as your birthday can change from May to December or something or, or whatever. She said, no, it's in May. And I always say this. Ni verga, güey. Because I'm not, not, not for my own free will I'm going. Not even if my own life depended on it, to be honest. If I'm going to die, I always say this. If you're going to die, might as well die of something, right? If I ever decide to make shirts, that's going to be one of the fucking phrases on my shirts. So I'll leave it right there, cabrones. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to ask the question, have you been chased by a tornado? Because I don't know if any motherfuckers have been chased by a tornado. So, have you fuckers experienced a tornado like I have? Let me know. Catch you fuckers later. Que bola culeros. You can see my last video acá. You can subscribe over here. And you can see all my fucking social medias aquí abajo. Now you better fucking watch the last video because you never know if it could have been funny. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share it on Facebook, Twitter, anything you can share it on. So get to it fuckers.